Hey guys, um, I'm Dr. Amanda Balserzak, and I'm going to be your um, lecture uh, coordinator. The lecture portion of uh, pharmacy procedure and skills is online, and so uh, I'm going to be the one responsible for the four credit hours um, related to that. So you probably won't see me uh, very often unless I make a pop over into lab. But I wanted to uh, take a little bit of time to just kind of give you a quick overview of the things that are going to be going on um, on the online portion uh, of the course. So give me just a second and I will share my screen with you. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you sign on to Blackboard. Um, I'm going to first go through, um, I know you got a syllabus already, but I want to go through and highlight just a few things that are um, applicable to um, the lecture that you may not know. Um, you need the code from the bookstore to be able to do the um, exercises uh, on MindTap. Scroll on down. All right, uh, I don't have an attendance policy because my course is the, my portion of the course is available online. You do have access to it 24 seven and there is no penalty for working ahead. Now, uh, the lecture portion is worth 60% of your grade. The assignments that you do each week uh, are gonna be worth a total of 40% and then your midterm and your final are both worth 10%. So um, that's one letter grade for each of those. So uh, make sure you study, do not procrastinate. Uh, it, it is very important. All right, late or makeup work. Lecture assignments are due at the time stated online. You have a week or you can work ahead. Acceptance of late work is at the discretion of me and I will give you a late penalty. Do the, these are available 24 seven. Um, this is an online portion. So you are expected to have a computer access, whether it's by uh, a laptop, um, a tablet, a desktop. There are labs available on campus. There uh, are computers available at the public library. So technology um, is not a valid excuse for being late. This course is not designed to be completed on a cell phone. Um, so you're gonna need to make sure that you have appropriate um, technology. So uh, generally um, you can, you can turn things in early. Um, if things are turned in late, I will give you a late penalty. Generally, late penalties are half credit. If there is a Blackboard issue, uh, that is my problem and I will deal with that. But just because the technology issues, um, that's not an automatic uh, reason for an extension. Don't procrastinate because too many things can happen at the last minute. And that's what I will continue to tell you. All right, so do not cheat. I will catch you and you will get a zero. If you help somebody cheat, you will also get a zero. You will be caught. Don't do it, it's not worth it. All right, so that's kind of some important points uh, for my portion of the class. So let's go into course content and class content each week. This first week is very short, so I'm going to go over a couple of weeks with you. So these are the things that we're going to focus on both in lecture and in lab. So here's where it tells you what to do. Read. These are the lecture assignments. Ours are due um, at the end of the day on Wednesdays. Now, uh, the core readiness, sometimes those codes take a little bit of time to, to get done. Uh, so there's a little bit of an extension on that, on that first one this week. But uh, moving forward, they will be due um, on the Wednesday. So here's lecture content. This is where I am. So we're using MindTap. So you're going to have a link to the specific chapter of the book. If you click on it, it will send it. Send you to MindTap. Uh, link in a new tab. Let's try that. Yes, I am leaving Blackboard. And Cengage will come up. You'll have to sign in. Uh, 
uh, well, but you can access that will be the and then there's when you do that you can take the quiz the quiz is supposed to automatically sync with your blackboard but I've had some issues with that in the past so if you take the quiz and it gives you a score and it doesn't show up in your blackboard don't panic I will make sure that you get the points don't worry um, now core readiness core readiness if you do not if you do not complete all of it by the deadline you will not get there is no partial credit on core readiness um, you can get late penalties on everything else, but not core readiness. Core readiness is, is about work, watching videos, um, but you can click on that. And you sign in. And it takes you, this is the customer service one. So what you'll go through is you'll go through and you'll watch each one of those. And then it'll show me a, a time and date stamp that you've done it. Uh, you will have to have an access code for that. and. Um, Ms. Burgess will help you uh, in that regard. So that's everything for, for week one. It's a very short week, so thank goodness uh, there's not a whole lot to do, but make sure uh, that you do get on that. This course is not designed for you to wait till the last minute and start doing it after class or lab or work on Wednesdays and um, still do well. So here are lecture assignments. There's quite a few things to do. Again, the lecture portion is four credit hours, so it is, it, it is a significant amount of work. If you've taken um, my anatomy and physiology class, you know that it's not, uh, it's not a cakewalk. So here we have two chapters um, to do, so you can read those uh, in MindTap, and then you can take the quizzes. We have journal entries. Journal entries um, are each week, and they're just kind of about a topic, you know, that's pharmacy related and there's not necessarily a right or wrong answer, but I do want you to think about, you know, issues and a lot of times you're going to come up with something, you know, right off, right off the bat. And these are generally polarizing issues that I'm going to ask you about. And um, again, even if I disagree with you, I'll tell you that I disagree, but that's okay. Like you don't get penalized for it. Give, you know, tell me why you think what you think. And um, I'll give you, I'll, I'll give you reasons for, you know, hey, I agree with you consider this or I disagree consider that um, but anyways to, to help you think you know things that things in pharmacy are not always um, contrasting black and white like we would like them to be all right so here's your link to core readiness that's how long it would take you do not have to complete them all at one time just make sure you do them all to receive credit or if you don't if you get all three of the four of them that's still a zero now, starting in week two, there are drug monographs. This is something new that we're adding because 40% of the PTCB exam is based on drug information. So I have this drug monograph template for you, and you'll want to open it up. And here it comes. I've got it over here. Now, I recommend that you, that you print this out and you handwrite it. Um, because you're going to learn more by taking the time to handwrite. Um, but you want to use a reputable drug source. Remember, I'm a pharmacist, so I actually know all this stuff already. I had to learn it in school, and I went over it a lot in practice. Um, so uh, this is like a study guide for you. So you'll want to, you'll want to write and you can, you can type stuff, but do not copy and paste. It will not, you're missing the whole point of the exercise. Don't do this for points. Do this because this is information that will help you immensely in your practical, um, on the PTCB exam and just as you continue to work in pharmacy. So you'll do one of these for each of the drugs. I have eight drugs each week that, um, I want you to do them on. And what you do is. You want to click on it and when you get those done you can submit it as a word document or um, in you can take them to lab and um, Ms. Burgess can scan them in for you and and help you upload them that way um, to, to make sure that that gets done so there's your monograph template you can do them all together you can do you know you can just copy the template into one single document uh, if you prefer or you can uh, handwrite them and she can scan them in so what you don't know which one of these I'm going to grade I may grade some of them I, I may grade one question on all of them I may grade one completely um, it kind of just depends on what you don't know what I'm going to grade so you want to do a good job and you want this to be accurate 
because again, it's going to help you. I'm not doing this stuff to try to be mean or to make you uh, do unnecessary work. This is stuff that, it, that is very important and that you will appreciate. Um, so starting, I believe it's in week three, you're going to have in the lecture, you're going to start having some quizzes on these drugs and you can use um, the medication list. These are timed uh, there, so, but you, you can use resources, uh, but there's not enough time for you to be able to look up the answers to all the questions. So you want to make sure you know the material. And then again, there's some of the monographs that I want you to do. And I was really, I really tried to think about um, things that you're going to see that are really important uh, when you get into practice. But hopefully that's a little overview and you feel a little bit more comfortable with how to navigate through the lecture portion of the course. Even though you're not going to see me very often uh, or you'll only see me virtually, I am here for you. I do want you to succeed. So don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, so I hope we have a great semester and Good luck.